Last time we were almost ready to insert data into the Firebase database after we've registered a new user. Now we, um, we need to actually insert the data. So uh, I'm going to start by fixing this mistake I, I made right here. So username equals username plus append, not username equals username equals append. Um, and then now we're going to make this method for actually adding it to the database. And I'm going to do it, in, I was originally going to do it in two methods, but I'm just going to use one now. So we're going to delete that and go into Firebase methods and we're going to create a new method here. I'm just going to go uh, below the register new email and let's give ourselves some more space here. So we'll go, uh, oh it needs to be public. So public void add new user. And it's going to take the email, it's going to take the username, the profile description, website, and then the profile photo URL. Okay. So now we need to create a user. So equals new user. Oops. And give it the email. We'll give it the global user ID from the Firebase um, authentication. And then we're going to use our string manipulator and do a condense username, pass the username. Because remember, we need to get rid of that period. Or sorry, we need to actually add that period because that's how, um, that's how Instagram does it. They take your name and then they concatenate it and add a decimal where there, where there were spaces. So that's what we're doing right here. And then we're just gonna use one for the phone number. And I'm getting an error here. Um, I probably screwed up the user model, so let's go check that out. Go into our models and go into the user. And yes, so we actually have to store the phone number as a long. That's how Firebase stores numbers. So we're gonna change that to a long. So it's User ID, well, we're gonna have to recreate the default constructor since we've changed it. So just do that again, and we can delete the phone number stuff and get the getter and setters again. And two strings should be fine. So, okay, so we have user ID, phone number, email, username. So user ID, I think it was email. Nope, sorry, phone number. Phone number, email, then username. Yeah, okay. So there we go. That takes care of that. And now we're just going to insert it right into the Firebase database. And so if we take a look here, we're looking to insert it right in this node right here. So we basically want to call the database reference, look for the child node users, and then look for the child node user ID, and then insert. So let's go back to here, so we go my ref. Oh, I don't have my database reference yet. So let's go up to the very top and we need to create our database reference. We need to create our database and also our database reference. So Firebase uh, database, actually Firebase database and Firebase database. And then we do uh, database reference. So database reference, I just call it my ref. That's the convention that I use. And if you are wondering how to do this, you can just go and check out the tools. So open the Firebase Assistant here and we can go to um, Real-Time Database, Save and Retrieve Data. And all this is outlined here. So you can see that here they get the database, then they get the database reference, uh, and then so read from your database and all that kind of stuff. So if you want more information on that, check the, out the Assistant or check out the Firebase documentation because it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. And then we're gonna go down into the default constructor here and we're gonna, you, do uh, Firebase database equals Firebase database dot get, get instance and then my ref equals Firebase database dot get reference and that's how we kind of initialize our database and our database reference so now we're ready to insert data so we can scroll down here and go my ref and child and hopefully I have the string here get string no I don't have that so we need to create a new string here since we're gonna be referencing that node a lot let's go values strings and so that is the fragments. Let's actually comment this. So fragment names. And now down here, we're going to do um, Firebase database fields. And we'll copy this string. And we can do um, db name users. And this is just going to be, so this is just the name of the node, right? So I'm going to be eventually adding all the nodes, but this is going to be the user's node. And we're also going to have a user account settings node. So 
I might as well add that one too. User account settings. And I can just copy this guy here. User account settings. And then we can go into here and so users, just like that. So that will reference that node. And then the next node we need is the user ID. So we go child, user ID, and then we do set value. And this is where we pass the user. And that's it. That will insert a new node right underneath, um, right in the user's node right here. So now we need to do the next one, the account uh, settings node. So now we're gonna we're ready to insert the next node, which is gonna be the user account settings. And so I haven't made that object class yet, but basically what we're gonna do is do exactly the same thing as we did here with the users node. So I'm gonna create a, a new object class called user account settings, and it's gonna have all these properties, and then we're gonna insert it exactly the same way as we did with the users node. So let's go into models and right click, go to new Java class, and we're gonna call it user account settings. And I'm just gonna read these off of the Firebase database. So it's gonna be description, private string display name, private string, oh no, it's gonna be long followers, private long followers, because remember that's how Firebase stores, um, stores numbers. It's hard to type and talk at the same time. And long posts and profile photo. Uh, username. And remember the the case. This is the Firebase is case sensitive, so everything here that I'm naming these objects has to be exactly the same as you see in Firebase here. These names they have to be identical, or Firebase won't like it, and you're gonna get all kinds of headaches. So just a big FYI on that one. And then we insert our default constructor. And wow, that's long. Let's cut it there. And we're going to need an empty default constructor too, so just delete everything in here. And then, of course, your getter and setters. And once again, ma just make sure you use Firebase to, or Android Studio to make your getter and setter methods because this is also case sensitive. Like if I was to change this to a capital or this to a lowercase, the uh, getter and setter methods wouldn't work for Firebase. So just make sure that you just use the Android Studio ones and insert a two string method there. Okay, so there we go. This is our user account settings class. So we can actually close strings, we can close that, close that. So now we're gonna do kind of the same things we did up here with the user. So we'll go user account settings. I'm just gonna say settings equals new user account settings. Nope, user account settings. Actually, I can just insert all the fields here. So we're gonna put the username, or I don't even remember the order actually. What, what was the order? Okay, so the first one's description, and the next one is uh, display name, which I will just set to the username. And what else we got? Then we got the followers. So followers, following, and posts, those are all going to be zero. So zero, zero, and zero. And after that, we got uh, profile photo. I'm just going to put empty an empty string there. Um, and remember, the universal image loader can handle an empty string. It's just going to set the default image. So that's completely fine in this case. And we got uh, the username. So username, oops, username. And the last field is website. So for website, um, oh, we have a website up there. And um, let's actually put, forgot I had profile photo up there. So there we go. And there, that's going to be all of our fields for the user account settings class. And then we're going to do kind of the exact same thing. So my ref child, and the node is we can use our get string r dot string dot uh, database name user account settings, and then the child is the user ID once again. So we'll go to the next line and use our user ID here, and then set value, and we can pass our uh, settings. And that should be it. So that should add everything to the database. So we can go back to uh, register activity here, and we're going to call that method. So we're going to go Firebase methods uh, dot add new user, and we can pass username. Uh, oh, whoops, it was email first. Sorry. Email username description. Do I have anything there? 
I think for the description, I'm just going to pass the username again. Website, I don't know, let's do nothing and nothing. Actually, you know what? I can just pass nothing for that too. And then let's do a toast. So we'll do toast, uh, context, sign up, successful, sending verification email. And we haven't done that yet. I haven't made the verification email method yet, but that's something we're gonna work on next. After that, we're gonna wanna sign out also, cause I don't want people to be able to sign in until they verify their email, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now and later on we'll, we'll take care of that. So let's test this. Uh, I can't remember which users I have in here. I have a whole bunch. So who's in, this is, which email is this? Live.com. Okay, so I'm gonna delete everyone else. I'm gonna delete this guy. And interesting. Somebody added their app to my project. Um, from I guess from my videos he must have copied my package name and then added I don't know if he can get in oh I guess he could have copied my SHA my SHA my SHA one key too because I I did all that on video huh that's funny I might have to um, remake this then because uh, I don't want a bunch of people in here. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually, I'm definitely going to have to because by the time I release this video, people are going to watch this and more people are going to do what he did. So, um, yeah, so I'll delete this guy and I will delete test. And now let's go and, okay, so now I'm going to run it and we're going to create a new account and register a new user. So let's run it. Okay, oh, um the app was already installed I'm gonna have to uninstall it first or else because I have no I have no way to sign out yet so I'm just going to quickly uninstall the app uh, contacts list or Instagram phone I don't know if that's the test one or the real one uh, no Okay, now my app's uninstalled, so it should lose all the, any information that was stored on there. So let's rerun the app. Okay, so no account yet. Let's register. Uh, my email is going to be Mitch at Tabian.ca. Full name, Mitch Tabian. And then, whoops, password is just going to be password. And register. And we get a crash. All right, let's check out the, the, old, the old Android monitor here. Um... Let's see here, time to invoke. So, uh, so here in the data snapshot, I iterated incorrectly. So right now, this is gonna iterate through all of the main nodes. So the main nodes would be user account settings and users. But what I wanna get into is here. So I actually need to iterate, I need to add child and then do user ID and then get children. And that should, that's gonna be the correct data snapshot that we wanna iterate through. Cause that way we're gonna iterate through all the users inside the users node. We're not just gonna iterate through the nodes that are on the top level. So that should fix that problem. Let's uh, rerun it and take a look. Well, once again, I'm gonna to have to sign out. I don't wanna uninstall again. So I'm just gonna go into, uh, where am I? I'm gonna go into home activity and I'm just gonna go to, into on create here and do m auth dot sign out and rerun the app. Then this will run and it'll sign me out and then I can rerun the app again and I won't be signed in anymore. So hopefully that wasn't confusing to you. It's probably, okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna get rid of this because I'm, I'm signed out. So make sure you remove that. And now we're gonna go into try and register a new user once again. Uh, well, actually I wanna make sure that it didn't register me in authentication here and it did, so make sure you delete that for testing. And let's try again, so mitch.tabian.ca, mitch.tabian, password, register. So sign up successful, everything looks like it worked. Let's check out the Firebase database. 
um, refresh this and I should see an email authenticated in here and that's there. Now let's check out the database and we should see a new user. Yeah, so down here we can see there's the new user. We have their email, phone number, user ID, uh, username. And now let's check in this node and same thing. So now we got all of our default values in here. Great, so everything is working as it should. Now that we're able to register users correctly and insert um, default data, in the next one we're gonna handle what to do after you register and um, making sure that users are authenticated before they can actually get access to the app. So I'll see you guys in the next video.